Welcome back everybody, Chad Ferguson, Catfish Edge, and the Helix 12 G2N sonar just showed up on my doorstep yesterday, New Year's Eve. Today is New Year's Day, Happy New Year's to everybody out there that watches all my videos, keeps up with Catfish Edge website. And uh, this just showed up today, brand new, hot off the presses, uh, the Helix G2N is is the newest release of fish finders uh, from hummingbird several of the other models have been shipping in the last few weeks and the 12 just started shipping so i want to show you real quick what i've got here in this unboxing and uh let's see if I put this in check it all out i'm fixing to kind of run through everything here and see if i can't get this installed on the ProCat 240. So, let's see here. All right, so we got all the accessory stuff here in the top, it looks like. Power cable, and I believe that that is the power cable that has the filter built into it, which is good. Transducer, bracket. It's like, it's that side knobs. So we got transducer bracket here. Looks like they've used the same hole pattern as they've used on the other sonar units. And transducer here. And this is one of the things that I have seen on the internet that I have really been looking forward to. So what they've done, you have transducer and, and the bracket is, is not uh, on the transducer here. Most of the transducers in the past have had a plastic arm that came up and then that would go into the transducer bracket. And whenever the transducer broke, you hit a stump or something, it was always that plastic arm that broke. So what they've done is they've done away with that plastic arm. They've gone to this metal bracket here and this bracket just screws uh, on top of this plate, which will then go into the bracket that's on the boat. So it kind of eliminates that weakest link uh, that you've always had when uh, transducers break. That's awesome, awesome upgrade. I can't wait to uh, put that thing together and see what that looks like and uh, how that works for me. And then this, let's see, sonar, the knobs to mount the sonar to the bracket. And yes, 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 yes. This is uh power bank i'm not sure what their what their technical term for it is because i haven't looked at the books but uh so basically what this is going to do is all of the cords are going to go inside of here uh, you pull this open with these two little screws your cords go inside of here you screw it back down and then when you're unplugging and, and plugging all of your cords into the back of the unit uh, you basically just have this one deal to, to push in and you're not having to deal with individual cables. I think I've got five or six cables hooked up to the back of the Onyx that I'm running right now. It takes forever to get all those cables uh, disconnected, reconnected when I take it on and off the boat. So that, that's huge. Major, major win for me. And then uh, obviously just the metal sonar bracket I'm going to put up on the top of my balls out now when I get the onyx pulled off the boat so let's get that out of the way let's see I got all the books and manuals and everything in there and then this the helix 12 man I have been just like a kid in a candy shop for the past month waiting for this thing to show up
Got the protective cover there. And look at that. Man, that it's so awesome. Man, I can't wait to get this thing on the boat. Ah, uh, that's another great upgrade they've done there. So they've taken this uh, SD card cover and taken it off of a hinge like they've had in, on the units in the past and it's actually on a little strap here. So it gives you a little more room to work with and uh, get that thing out of the way. That's an awesome feature as well. Here came with it. Uh, Ethernet dongle, which this is going to convert the uh, Ethernet cable that runs from my network hub, the Humminbird network hub, into the graph. A uh, different connector on the back of the Helix than there was on the Onyx. So this is going to allow that network cable to plug into this adapter, and then the adapter will go into the Helix. Uh, mega transducer adapter cable so basically what this is going to do is allow me to use this as well so I've got the uh, mega transducer that came with the helix which is going to do my side imaging down imaging 2d all that fun stuff and then I also got this additional 2d transducer this is uh, the, the small, um, you know, traditional transducer uh, like was used prior to the down imaging, side imaging, and, and those other technologies coming out. And um, what this is going to do in combination with this is it's going to allow me to run the mega transducer and this 2D transducer at the same time. So basically what that does is that this is going to allow me to see depths and get sonar returns at higher speeds when I lose uh, those images on the mega transducer because of the cavitation. Um, you know, if you run a through hole transducer on your boat, then a lot of times you don't have that issue. You can't run through hole on aluminum boat like my CR Pro Cat, at least that I'm aware of. There may be a way to do it that I'm not aware of, but I've never seen it done or, or heard anybody being successful with it. And then I've got flotation pods on the back of my boat, so I get a lot of cavitation uh, when I'm running on plane. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in, and hopefully, if all goes well, it will prevent that. I'm going to show you how I do that on an install when I get to the next video. So that's everything in the box there with the Helix 12 G2N.